Well, guys, as you know, we seem to have a never-ending stream of illegal immigrants or straight-up boat wankers floating over the channel. This embarrassment is a daily occurrence with Border Force vessels acting as the migrant taxi service bringing them into the UK. Now, that would be a major embarrassment to a Conservative government, but this is not a Conservative government, is it? It's a commie-servative one at best. It's obviously betraying the people, much like political parties always do, and is literally pissing in your pocket and telling you it's raining on a daily basis. Now Breitbart have this article here talking about pretty piss poor Patel and the Home Office celebrating Refugee Week if you can actually believe it. Yep, the septic spots on the arse of humanity you let illegal immigrant boat wankers into the country every day are celebrating the fact that they do it, despite apparently being directly against their manifesto pledge and the wishes of their voters. Oh, and pretty piss poor Patel came out with this absolute peach here I'm sure you're all gonna love. This week casts a spotlight on all those who have enriched our community since arriving in the UK looking to rebuild their lives. Thanks to the generosity and support of the British people, thousands of refugees from every part of the world are here making enormous contributions to our society, culture, economy and we are a better country for it. <laughs> Enriched our communities, I take it you won't be talking about the London Bridge attacks, Westminster Bridge, Borough Market, Manchester Arena, grooming gangs or any of the countless other examples of enriching the people see. I really doubt you want a week of me casting a spotlight on them which is at the end of the day all on the heads of the political classes. It's their fault these things happen so to talk about enriching given all that has gone on is literally just taking the piss out of us. As expected though, the Home Office has added to it by boasting that it has resettled more refugees than the other European country between 2015 and 2019, stating that over 25,000 people have been granted asylum in Britain since then. The announcement also revealed that some 29,000 people were resettled in the UK during the same time period under the Refugee Family Reunion Scheme. So, boasting about something that people won't support because there is no way in the world 29,000 refugees have come here. There are 29,000 economic migrants at the end of the day. I would say I can't believe the cheek of these people, but they covered up the grooming gang report, so should we even really be surprised? The boats will keep coming, the border force boat wanker taxi service will pick them up, and these snivelling shit weasels will keep lying to your face every day. As sure as shit that you breathe air, these motherfuckers are going to spend their life lying to you and your life for that matter. Now before I go guys, remember my website is linked down below for you to check out if you have not already. It's free to sign up and use with forums, groups, live streams and much much more coming soon. My Odyssey and BitChute links are also down there for you to support me on should I be shit canned by YouTube, which is always possible these days.